New tonight, we are not going to let it happen again. That's what Hampton Roads Transit is saying about the spending that left cities on the hook for millions of dollars. Today, HRT met to discuss how it's going to dig itself from a financial hole and not let others have the same problem next year. Then your side's Matt Gregory has been on this story for weeks now. Matt? Tom, one of the biggest complaints besides the size of the true up bill, which was $5.3 million, was that cities like Norfolk felt blindsided by the bill. So the CEO of HRT, William Harrell, said that he wanted to revive an old financial advisory committee. They started during light rail's inception to make sure they brought all cities in to see how the budget works. It's a busy day for buses at the Norfolk transfer station. Inside HRT's headquarters, it's a busy day for company leaders, too, where CEO William Harrell brought in city officials to review HRT's finances. Absolutely. This is going to be monthly meetings, and we, people are going to get tired of talking with us. In March, HRT dropped a $5.3 million bill on the six cities they service. Norfolk alone has to pay close to $2 million. Now, part of the meeting, Harrell explained what HRT has done to close the gap between revenue and costs. We've had a reduction in force. Uh, where we laid off employees, we have frozen expenditures, uh, we eliminated vacant positions. Harold says the bigger picture is that routes cost money, and if riders don't ride them, they don't make money. And most of the routes they service haven't changed in decades. Going out to the community, we're talking to operators to figure out what makes sense because there's been growth and change in Hampton Roads, but many of these routes have not. As the meeting wrapped up, Harold explained why it's important that they keep having financial meetings like this. So what we're trying to do here is to work with the cities on the front end so that we can anticipate issues much earlier and be in a position hopefully to avoid the kind of significant true ups and fiscal year 16. HRT is working for a smooth financial ride through the rest of 2017. Now back to that 2016 true up bill. Newport News and Norfolk have both said because they had such high bills they'd like to pay in installments. Well, the CEO of HRT said that in the next budget meeting, the next financial advisory committee meeting, they'll set aside uh, a more permanent idea on how those installments could work if they choose to go forward with that. In Norfolk, I'm Matt Gregory. Tell on your side.